Good evening, everyone. This is going to be a love reading for Aries. of our energy coming in. The last judgment is the judgment card. Wanna get a few clarifiers? All these cards here. So in your past energy, it's gonna be the death card, but that's coming in in the reverse. And when it comes in the reverse, it deals with um, your inertia, your sleep, your lethargy, you know, things like that. So somebody is feeling either lazy in the relationship or very bored and tired of the relationship. So work on that, please. Sit down and talk to your person because also coming in your present energy is the Ace of Cups. And when that comes in the reverse, that deals with, you know, content, you know, things of such not feeling false hearted you're not feeling mutual agreements you're not in instability and things of such and that's coming in the reverse so like i said next thing you have in your future energy it's going to be the king of swords and that's coming in the reverse as well and when that comes in the reverse the king of swords that deals the king of swords deals with finding balance in your relationship swords period so when it comes in the reverse it's done with like um, adversities, um, like when you're, it could also deal with law, um, authorities, how you guys feel about one another. Sit down and have a talk with one another so that there's no cruelty in the relationship or anything like that. Everyone feels like everyone is playing their part, okay? Let's get a few clarifiers here first. I'm not sure what's going on, but someone is experiencing cruelty. I'm feeling it very strongly. I'm not sure if it's which person, if it's you or your person, but someone is experiencing some cruelty. I don't know if it's words or actions. I don't want to tap too much into that energy. I have a few more readings to do today. Overall energy. Sorry. Overall energy is the nine of wands. I was checking out the card and feeling the energy. Uh, resilience. Someone is feeling resilience. Success. Persistent. Um, perseverance is what I'm getting, um, which is good. That's the overall energy. Just keep up that energy because the, the sword's energy, but you have the cups here. So we're gonna clarify. We're gonna clarify that death card. Okay, the death card, you have the king of swords here. All right, we already talked about the swords. So we're gonna keep going. And that's in your past energy. So let's keep going. Over here, you have the 10 of cups, which is in your past 
energy as well, but that deals with harmony, family reunions, contentment, love, the ultimate cup of love, your coexisting together, emotional stability and security within your relationships, okay? Someone is experiencing a tower moment in their life um, at this current moment, which is dealing with the Ace of Cups, which is clarifying the Ace of Cups. So when you're dealing with the tower, it does not always necessarily have to be a bad thing. It can always be a good thing because that means that you are finding that balance that was spoken about in the beginning of the reading. Um, so that could also be a good thing. But however, if you do have a question that's in your present energy, it would be a no. Just chill. Not right now. Okay? You have the five of wands coming in. And that's a good thing. Um, it could deal with arguments and, and disputes. But if you have the correct movements in this, in this movement here, in your present energy, this weekend, if you and your partner have the correct conversations, communicate properly and effectively, I'm sure you can get to this Wheel of Fortune that's here, that's coming in your future, okay? So this deals, the Wheel of Fortune deals with life, luck, destiny, you know, good fortune, things like that. You know, being decisive, you know, you guys having and creating memorable moments together, all right? And you have the food card. You know, that's fresh beginnings, in a sense, being free-spirited. You know, you guys need to maybe spot, use some spontaneity in your relationship, you know. Or if you're having too much spontaneity, use simplicity in your relationship. It's up to you, you know, whatever it is. But if you have a question for your future, the question to answer is yes. All right. Let's get a few. Three. Clarifiers for each. Let's get one clarifier for each position. Then we're going to pull a few cards from the universe. few messages from the universe. Of our energy, the chariot in reverse. Conflict, misdirection, disputes, forcefulness, and powerlessness. Okay. So to clarify the King of Swords and the Ten of Cups, you are ha you have the Ten of Swords, huh, which is in your past. Backstabbing, failures, exhaustion, goodbyes, and, and severing ties. And that's in your past energy. You're not going to stay there. Because you have the Ace of Pentacles, and that's going to deal with abundance, prosperity, security, and manifestations. Someone is manifesting you, or you are manifesting your person. One of the two. But either way, it's coming. It's coming. Whatever you're manifesting, it's coming. Okay? If it doesn't happen this weekend, it's happening very, very, very soon. You have the three of pentacles, and that deals with apathy, conflict, ego, lack of teamwork, and competition. If you're in competition with your mate, why are you there? You are not there to compete with each other. You are there to work as a team and get things accomplished as a team together, not separately or individually. Okay? So you can change that outcome. Let's get a few messages from the universe. Nope. Let go. 
and health. All right. Energy is Earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. No, it's not the right time. So that's in your past energy. Let it go is in your current energy. Make room for the new beginnings on its way to you now. I told you it's coming. Whatever it is that you are manifesting, it's on its way. Universe is letting you know. Okay. You have the health coming in in your future position. Health issues could arise. Might get a few love waffles, okay? I want to clarify that health with our, um money and career card. Money, business, and career. When I feel like it's a really negative energy, I, I use the money, career, and health to clarify so we can switch that energy up on this end. Okay. It could possibly give the reading a different outcome. You never know. I say let's try it. I'm following with spirits lead. Pay bills. That's in your past. Unemployment is in your current energy. And loan approved. Loan approved. Loan approved is in your future energy. Awesome. So, even though the, you may have health issues, you will have a loan approved and it says we're hiring job search. So even if you are unemployed, the overall energy is now we're hiring job search. So let's start looking, okay guys? I'm gonna put that up here. Gonna get a few love oracles. Let's see what you would like to say to the person. of our energy, your perfection. Your beauty amazes me. I'm not sure how I attracted in someone like you, but I'm forever grateful. Other, others' opinions, I feel bound by my culture and my family beliefs on how I should live my life. I'm working towards breaking free from limiting myself based on my beliefs and their beliefs. Father wounds. My father is a big influence on my behavior now as an adult. I have challenges with connected to other divine masculine's energy within me and externally. That's in your current energy. And unclear. I don't know how I feel about this connection anymore. That's that conversation I was telling you about. Have that conversation, please. So that everyone is clear for their expectations going into the new year, 2024. It's not to be wasted, okay? Do you understand me? Look at me. Say yes, I understand. Okay. Let's continue. Let's get what your person would like to say to you. Get, pull up a couple numbers. Then we're going to close this reading out.
of our energy. I need to see you. Can we work this out? What's in your past energy? In their current in their current energy, I want you to enjoy your life. What I'm feeling is is with them. With them in it. However, they don't want you to be, to not enjoy your life. So if it is without them, and I'm sure they would be appreciative and understand if you do have to move along without them. You have to do what's best for you. Seeing you makes my day. Okay. Let's get a few numbers and close this reading out, guys. So I have 12, 1, 3, 20, 6, 6, and 5. 6, 1, 12, 3, 20, 6, and 5. Thank you all. Have a wonderful weekend. And enjoy the rest of your evening as well.